We gotta clean the lens for the shelter build today. What's up guys, Dan here, your favorite bushcraft instructor, ready to show you something for the season. That's right, it is like um, event time, you're gonna be at bushcraft gatherings, maybe just hanging out with your friends, maybe you're um, you know, living in a field somewhere, I don't know, but the point is we're gonna show you a freestanding shelter today. So we have a 10 by 10 tarp laid out, you're gonna need a bunch of tent pegs, a couple pieces of rope, a five foot stick, and uh, yeah, it'll get the job done. This one is super easy. Once you decide your setup area, you're gonna decide where you want your tarp facing, like your opening, right? So right now what we want is the opening facing the camera. So I'm gonna to come to the back side of the tarp and I am going to stake out the three loops across the back. So this side, I'm gonna to come to the center. You wanna make sure it's nice and tight when you're doing this. So get that one in and then I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna stake this one out. So step one, super easy. Now we're gonna to move to the front of the tarp and put some stakes in there. Okay, now that we're at the front of the tarp, the first corner, what I wanna do is I'm gonna look where my next loop is, okay? So we have these placed out here. I'm going to make sure my tarp is tight, okay? And I'm gonna place this loop where this loop was laying and I'm gonna stake that thing in. I'm then gonna repeat that on the other side of the tarp, okay? Now we're gonna take our stick. So a 10 foot tarp, you're gonna use a five foot stick. Huge reminder again, not a pointy stick, it'll blow through your tarp. Round off the stick and then also add some type of padding to the top, in our case, wool sock. So when we're placing our stick into the shelter, we're not gonna go halfway, we wanna go about one third of the way from the front. So in our case, we have thirds already separated here because of the way our tarps are made. So we're just gonna go back just around our tie out loop. Again, you gotta play with this just a little bit to see where you're at, okay? So in my case now, pretty good at this point where the stick is, okay? You can see we have a big opening, but we have this little problem. So how we're gonna combat that is, we're gonna first take a line, tie this out to a line, okay? Which that's gonna keep this open. And then to take this sloppiness out, we're gonna tie these back. And I'm gonna show you that here in a second. Let me go grab some line and tie this one out. As you can see here now, I took a line and pulled out the front. So that gave me a little bit of a bird's beak here. And then I already tied out one side. So typically you're gonna see this little sloppy flap here. What we're gonna do then is we're just gonna take this flap, we're gonna pull it back because I have a piece of rope tied on here and we're gonna stake it out with one of our loops here, okay? So I'm tied this off to a tent stake, just like this. And then I'm gonna stake that down onto a loop, just like that. That gives us a nice clean front this way. There's lots of room inside the shelter, great for two people, great for you, and lots of gear. Or if you have a pet or something like that, they can have one side, you get the other. Um, this thing works absolutely great, and it's nice and streamlined, and it looks really good, and it's really easy to set up. All right, so that's it. That's today's shelter. Freestanding, easy, fun. Definitely give this one a shot this summer. I know you're gonna love it. Um, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe link below. You can also check us out over at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for tarps like this, all our other gear, our school, our blog, all the awesome stuff. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. And uh, as always, stay in the woods. Stay in the woods.